guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today I'm going to be showing with you this makeup look of all of my favorite products and I'm just going to be chatting with you because I feel like there's a lot of little updates that I have to share and I wanted to update you all on what's happening because there's just so many things going on so without further ado let's just jump right on into this video Started on my eyebrows but if you are wondering where I am I'm actually at our new apartment currently we got the keys for it and she said we we're allowed to move like a few things in and she gave us the keys a lot earlier than we expected but this apartment if you haven't seen it I posted it on my TikTok and Instagram but it is so perfect for us it's such a god thing too that we got this apartment he perfectly set it up for us to get this apartment the rent is in our price range it's actually really cute it's not like trashy or anything and the landlord is a wonderful christian lady that we had so much fun getting to know and talking to when we signed the lease for our apartment so now this is a very peaceful place for me to film videos i may still go to alex's apartment to film videos and come here so kind of go back and forth because technically alex is going to be moving in june 15th ish because that's when his lease at his other apartment will be ending around that time and then i won't move in until we actually get married so I'll probably just hang out here when he's not here. You guys probably saw, and if you didn't, follow me on Instagram, but we made the announcement that we are not having the wedding in California anymore just because of the stay at home order and it probably would not be safe to do that. So we're having the wedding here in Tennessee which honestly, we both thought that we would only have like a few people there. Our California wedding was going to be like 150 people. And we honestly expected like 20 to be at a wedding for us here in Tennessee. But once we announced that we were going to have it here in Tennessee, so many of our friends and family from California said they wanted to fly out. So we're actually having a 60 person wedding, which is amazing. And we are so blessed that people are willing to fly out for us. So I am very excited about it. My little brother asked me the other day, he said, are you nervous at all? And I said, no, not really. There's some things that I am nervous about, like paying for bills, I'm nervous about <laughs> cooking, which I don't do at all, but I'm going to need to if I want to eat. Just little things like that. I'm not nervous about like Alec and I not getting along. There probably will be little things once we live together that we will fight over because that always happens. But I'm not worried about us not getting along. I'm not worried about us not being able to pay bills or anything. I'm just worried about the process of paying them. Like, I don't know how to pay bills. But I definitely think that God will provide the money and we both have jobs that we are almost full time at. I'm not really nervous about it. I'm just so excited for this next step. And I don't know if I'm like, ignoring the nerves and emotions that come with such a big step with all of these big transitions in my life i have felt like i've had the issue of not identifying how i'm truly feeling and just like pushing it away but at the same time i don't know if i really am feeling anything like i feel fine because I expected to be way more sad 
about moving out of state, about moving out of my parents' house when I went to live on campus, but I wasn't, and I don't know if I'm ignoring feelings or if I really didn't have very many negative feelings to begin with. So it's really weird. I don't really know. And that's kind of how I'm feeling about the wedding is I don't really have very many negative feelings. Like I'm just mostly excited and I don't know if that's a bad thing. <laughs> I probably will once it gets closer and the couple months afterwards, once it's like a reality and we are living here together, but I don't really feel very nervous about it at all. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Everything with the wedding is going really smoothly. We are pretty much at the point of wedding planning where we're just doing like little things. It's not really like the big things anymore, like the food, flowers, all that. It's just little details we have to figure out, like the boys' outfits, how we're gonna leave, once the wedding's over and like all of those little things. So it's not too big of details at this point. Everyone that knows us has just been waiting for this to happen. And people that haven't known us for several, several years just think it's so soon and I'm absolutely crazy for doing it. But the people that have known us since we were growing up have been like, I can't believe it took this long. <laughs> So it's such a weird thing how different people have different opinions, but honestly, I just don't care about any of them. <laughs> I know that we are meant to be together, and I've probably shared this before if we've talked about our story or anything, but God spoke to both of us on different occasions about how we were meant to be together. The first time that I heard God speak to me about Alec was when I was a senior in high school and I ignored it because <laughs> I was like there's no way I didn't really like Alec at the time but here we are and God has been so faithful to us and we are so excited for this new journey. I guess another thing I'll update you on is school. So I am going to school in the fall we did get news that our school will be resuming face-to-face -face classes in the fall, but I just think that they'll be doing some social distancing guidelines. I don't really know what it's gonna look like when we get there, but I'm excited to see how this school year goes. And that is actually one thing that I think I'm nervous about is balancing school and work and being married obviously it's all my choice i'm the one that chose to do all these things but i definitely think that is going to be way harder than just balancing school and work so call me crazy but i really love where i work i really love school and i really love alex so i don't want to give up any of those things but uh, we'll see how it all works out i I'm going to be going back to school. I'm taking the smallest amount of units that you can to still be full time, which is 12. And I did that because, like I said, I'm going to be so busy with everything that's going on outside of school. And especially because I don't live there anymore. So I am going to be taking some music theory. I'm almost done with my music theory requirements, so that's awesome. I'm going to be taking more voice lessons, guitar lessons. I'm going to take a philosophy class online, so that'll be interesting. And then I am also taking a class in my minor. If you didn't know, I added a minor, and it's called Mass Communications. And it is all just pretty much your basic communications degree in all of its facets. So it is written communication, uh, technological communication, and all of those things. So the first class I'm going to be taking of that will be this semester, and it's called Society and Media. So it's how media has impacted and influenced 
society and I feel like this is the perfect time to be taking that class especially after this pandemic and how the media has caused people just to go crazy over buying toilet paper and all these crazy things. I definitely think that was media induced and I'm excited to learn the connection between society and media. I am really excited to go back and see my friends. I do miss them. Most of them went back home to their different states and we all kind of left really abruptly because my school told us that we would be coming back within a month to go in-person classes so we all kind of just said bye and didn't really think much of it and then while we were gone on that little month they actually messaged us and said you're not coming back at all so it was really abrupt it wasn't a lot of time to process i had a few little mental breakdowns because i just could not believe what was happening and i'm sure a lot of people felt that way i'm been keeping in touch with some of my friends from school some of them do live here so i've been seeing them like my roommate allison lives here so i've actually seen her a few times which has been great my friend carly which you've seen in some videos went back to new jersey and she is going to be at the wedding and she's going to be bridesmaid so i'm really excited to see her another thing that i guess i can update you about is my job we were out of work for a month so not too long luckily so now we are back our store is open and we've been pretty busy we do require people to wear masks they've actually been making me break out a lot if you saw my face at the beginning of this video and that's been super annoying they have been causing me to have headaches pretty regularly it only takes 30 minutes at this point for me to start getting headache when i go to work and i work eight to nine to ten hour days sometimes i really hope that i don't get some sort of health condition from wearing them and if you didn't know at my job i actually got promoted to being a part-time manager which honestly is so crazy some people <laughs> have been asking me like how have i been promoted this fast i haven't even worked there for a year and honestly the only explanation that i have is that it's jesus <laughs> that i've been promoted that fast i didn't even have any sales experience i didn't know anything about selling clothes in retail and i just thought it would be a good job to have while i was at school and i really feel like the lord really blessed me in my work environment and i'm actually doing way better than i thought and and i enjoy the people that i work with they're all super great girls we have a few boys um but it's mostly girls <laughs> to answer that question i have no idea how i got promoted to a manager at this point but i've been enjoying it i've been learning a lot about money and reports and processes and behind the scenes i don't really love that part of it but it's good to have the experience and to learn a new area of business for sure. I think the part that I love the most about doing this new manager position is being the person that's like in charge. We have something called leader on duty, which is the person that's in charge on the sales floor and they're just in charge of selling and making sure we make our money goals for that day and they're in charge of giving people breaks and helping employees work in the most effective way possible. And I really like that part of the manager position for sure. I know I haven't really filmed a makeup video in a while. And I think that's just because I kind of lost my passion for doing cool makeup looks every day. And that's because I had 7.30 a.m. classes both semesters that I was at school and 
it's just really impossible to expect myself to wake up yeah i kind of lost my passion for doing cool makeup looks every day and that's why this palette has been a favorite of mine recently because on my 7 30 a.m days i would just put on one shade from this palette or two shades if i had a little extra time and i would just go out the door i would still do all of my like regular face makeup thing but for eyes i just kept it really really minimal i'm just so excited to move in here and i'm trying not to like not enjoy the next month or a little over a month that i'm still in my parents house and i'm trying to enjoy that because the last time that i'm ever gonna live with them and that is a big deal but the curtain cage is just not doing it and you guys already knew that like i was asking the lord this morning how do i enjoy this season that i'm in when i'm just so excited for the future and having our own place and all that like how do i enjoy this and i really just felt like he's saying to really enjoy the regular mundane days where not a lot is going on i'm just going to work just living with my family and doing those things and just really finding the beauty in those mundane days is really important and that's what we'll be trying to do for the next month a little bit over a month until we get married a little update for you all on my parents ministry because if you didn't know the whole reason that we even moved out here was to start a ministry and my parents just really have developed a passion for doing an unconventional style of church and doing it more in the way that jesus might have intended it what i mean by that is the church originally just started in homes and that's what my parents want to start is like little home churches my parents are really looking to start that this summer and i'm really excited to just be a part of that and to one day have maybe a little home church in our apartment too which i think would be so fun to do so we might make this little living room that i'm sitting in right now a little hangout place but a lot of exciting things are happening for us and i just want to fast forward to all of the exciting things but the lord's really teaching me just to enjoy the moments that i'm in and to know that he's gonna be faithful i probably showed that before but he has really proven to be faithful to us in this season and it's been so exciting and i also just wanted to share what i'm going to be doing on social media and all that if you probably can't tell social media has definitely taken a back seat when work and school got really busy which i don't feel bad about because those are important things and things that i'm passionate about but i really do miss doing things on social media and I don't ever know or even expect to blow up on social media that is not my intention there have been times where i've been like i want to grow on social media and get free stuff from brands and all that but right now where i'm at i don't think that the lord will ever honor what i do on social media if i'm doing it for my own personal fame and my own personal gain and I never want to get to that place where it's all about me. I do really have a passion for social media and creativity and all of that. And that's why I added the minor. But if I don't get social media famous one day, then that is all right with me. As long as I am just honoring the Lord through my videos, through my pictures, all that as the most important part i still am gonna be posting over the summer on youtube twice a week i'm gonna be trying my best and i am gonna be still posting on instagram obviously that doesn't really go away but once 
school starts again i'm gonna go back to posting on youtube only once a week so just stay tuned for that that's my updates i love where i'm at right now i love this makeup look i feel like it's just really simple and it looks good on my skin tone and everything so here is the final look thank you guys so much if you watched all the way to this point of the video i appreciate you <laughs> listening to me talk about the exciting updates that are going on in our lives and if you enjoyed this little makeup look make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because i love to do this for you and i will see you guys next thursday Bye, guys.